an I Team exclusive. A former cult leader serving jail time for starving his own child to death is now speaking out. In a prison interview, Jacques Robidoux says he now understands the trauma he caused and he wants to help others break away from the grip of similar groups. Our I Team's Christina Hager has the exclusive sit down. How you doing? Inmate Jacques Robideau, hardly recognizable from the last time we saw him. Between myself and God, that's my business. Back then, he was cult leader Jacques Robideau, defiantly facing a judge in 2000, accused of starving his son to death. He told other members of this cult to ignore Samuel's pain. I essentially became a compartmentalized sociopath. It was here Robideau finally faced what he had done. Once the realization came that, holy God, I, I killed my own son. How did this even happen? Everything begins to unravel. This video shows Robido carrying Samuel in a backpack. The child was about a year old when another member of the Attleboro-based sect called The Body had a vision. In order to save Samuel and another member's unborn child from certain hell, Samuel was not to eat any solid food, only breast milk, which his mom couldn't produce. It didn't take long, you know, as I was holding him, he was crying. Um, he was crying because he was hungry. And so as I'm holding him, <clears throat> and he's crying, and I'm, I'm crying. But of course the thought comes that well, in order for me to fulfill this will of God, I have to be strong for my family. I have to be strong for Samuel. Was there a limit where you would have ever stepped in and said, this is not right? I couldn't because in my mind, in order to serve God, in order to save my family, in order to save my son, <laughs> who essentially was dying, and, and to save the child in the womb, I had to go through with this. He knows now that God was not involved in that decision about Samuel. Uh, but at the time, he certainly believed it. For years, Judy and Bob Pardon ran a treatment center in Lakeville for people who escaped from cults. When investigators unearthed Samuel's body, secretly buried in Maine, along with a cousin who had died at childbirth, the court appointed the Pardons temporary guardians of the cult's other children. Do you think there are other groups out there like the body right now? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. No. Society has become more destabilized via the pandemic. While other members of the body have dispersed, from behind prison walls, Robido is focused on helping others avoid the trap he says his own mind got tangled up in. So that big gnarled ball of yarn, it's taken quite a few years to unravel it. But every time it gets unraveled, it's freeing. Robido, who's serving a life sentence for the murder of his son, now participates in virtual group counseling sessions for former cult members. For the I-Team, Christina Hager, WBZ News.